and he's just like no i was so surprised when he said no i'm like what what do you mean no don't be that guy if you need a job keep your job be professional if you have to smoke just do it a little bit earlier than the time that you have to come to work and then shower after so you don't smell like ganja so bad because that's not really professional it just isn't Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, today's my day off. And, well, I kind of have plans, but not really. My battery is blinking. What is going on? Um, last night I just decided I was tired of wearing the wig and I took my hair down and washed it. So now, I have it up in this little bun. And, um, I'm just chilling. I just packed up my laundry just in case I happen to go to the laundromat. Um, I gotta do my laundry, right? But um, I'm just here today and I haven't vlogged all week, but I'm here really just chilling. I have a few things that I may or may not want to get done today, but I'm leaning more towards the may not. I have a couch that's supposed to be coming this week. I was praying that joint would come today. Today's the 10th. It's coming tomorrow, however. Okay, whatever. So I need to have one of my friends come over to see if he could help me put it together. Um, because while I'm very good at putting these things together, all the reviews that I've read for that specific one said that it is a two-person job. I literally own one screwdriver and um, there's only so much I could do with that. Even though I feel like they will normally send the, um, I was about to say utensils. <laughs> they will normally send the tools that you need to fit up these things. But I still feel like I'm going to need somebody to hold an end or, you know, anything crazy like that. So... I'm going to put my request in from today to have my friend come help me um, put that together. So there's that. Like I said, I was really hoping that I will come today, but it's looking a little slow for that because I'm off today. So, I, you know, it would be nice. If it came in the morning, that would be nice too because tomorrow I'm here until like 11 o'clock, 11.30, the latest in the morning. And so that would be nice. But I feel like to the way how I am, like I'm very together, but kind of dysfunctional at the same time. That sounds better because I'm very structured with a lot of things, but there are some things that I'm just like, yeah, no, we can't. I will not start it and just leave it there. I like to finish whatever it is that I do start. And I'm so excited about the couch. I feel like whenever I start it, I'm gonna wanna finish it to just use it same time. Oh, as I'm on the topic, I need to buy some throw pillow cases because the throw pillows that I do have, I still have Christmas covers on them. Do not judge me. I know what month it is, please. So, we're going through something here, okay? Um, these are things that we can replace so we don't complain about little things like that. So I'm gonna just buy some back. I feel like I was getting tired of the ones that I had anyways. So kudos to me. So I was looking at some last night that I want to buy for the overall, that will go with the overall aesthetic that I have and have planned for the living room. Uh, if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know that the living room is one, I mean, I love beds and everything, but the living room makes me genuinely so happy. So I want it to look a specific way. I, I have a certain aesthetic that I want for my living room and I want it, you know? So very excited about that. So um, I need to buy some throw pillowcases today. This morning I was online looking at sneakers. Tired of the one that I have. Now here's a constant problem that I have. Let me sit down so like I've been standing forever. I will have something and it works fine and everything, but I I just get tired of it. And when I get tired of it, I want something different because I do get tired of it. It's like my phone cases, like I will love them so much. And then out of nowhere, I'm just so tired of it and I want something different and I just cannot function anymore with the same one on there. And so I just feel like I need to get that together. So I'm gonna show you guys the kind of theme that I have going. I love yellow. I love pops of yellow. I've also been loving olive lately so much. However, the couch that I bought, I'm going to show it to you guys. It is like charcoal, the color, right? And so it's dark gray. I had the gray theme going in the living room before. So I'm going to just continue that just with a different couch. I'm going to Oh, this is so cute. I also feel like I'm gonna need another one, but I wanted to buy one piece first 
to fit it on both sides. So one wall going this way, one going this way. I wanted to buy one and fit it on both um, walls to see how it works if I would need to in space or if I would need to get like a smaller one with the one that I currently have. And then, um, yeah, so dark gray. And then I will like see what I do. So this is the couch. Couch color and doll. Beautiful. So gorgeous. I feel like it's not even doing it any justice on camera, right? And so I wanna I wanna add some like pops of yellow and like some lighter gray into the space because I do have a lot of gray going on in the living room and I kinda wanna tie everything in and the yellow is like to go with like the gold that I do have in there. I need a clock for the side wall and then I feel like that's gonna be it because I do already have um, rugs, which is amazing. So I really, really liked this when I saw it because it has the yellow, it has the gray right beautiful so i was gonna get those four and i was thinking i'd probably get something like this hair this exact one to just add some texture you know to kind of break all the solids up and then i would still get um this solid um yellow one here but i feel like what i might end up doing is starting off with the first one that I showed you guys um, with the yellow and the gray and then buying the gray one as well and seeing where I go from there. So we're going to do that now. Purchase these. When does this say? Um, I'll get them if I purchase them now. Friday. Okay, that's not bad. Why don't you get them to tomorrow? I was also looking to see if I saw anything else that I may have liked more, but I really like, maybe I should look at the reviews. Oh, such an avid review reader and I did not even check. And I like the price of this because there are four of them and it's just um, $18, which is really, really good. So love that. I'm going to look at the reviews to see what they look like because I'm not bad. Of course, the yellow one that I like. Okay, so the tones are very muted, which is cute. Okay, I love it. I'm buying it. This is how my brain works, you guys. I see something I like it, I buy it. I like it. So we're gonna buy those. I think I'm going to hold off, save for later. I also had a sneaker in my cart on Amazon because it's stoppable. Like, what the hell? Okay, so yellow. There's mostly yellow on those, so I'll buy that and I will buy the gold. I really wanted to see if I saw another one because I hate being so impulsive where first thing I see I buy it I don't like that so I'm gonna still check um to see what pops up but for the most part I'm here today I need to take some chicken out of the fridge so that I can meal prep a little bit today um the last two days my friend cooked so I want to cook the, well yeah the last two meals my friend cooked so I want to cook now you know paying it forward so um yeah that is the plan oh this is very cute now I'll get it tomorrow but let me see if they have gray but um, yeah, that, that really is the overall plan that I have for, um, I could even put some white, mm, not really, it's gonna just be off. Yeah, that is the overall plan that I have, and, um, yeah, so today's a chill day, I wanna see if I can knock some laundry out, meal prep, buy the cushion covers on, uh, Amazon, relax, oh my gosh, relax. I need to relax today and get some sleep at some point today because this week I was really tapping out at work. Like one of the evenings I was telling my manager like, um, can I go home? And he's just like, no. I was so surprised when he said no. I'm like, what? What do you mean no? Anyways, one of the days he scheduled me to work one evening and I went there and there were too many people there and I'm just like, yeah, they're fine. Like everybody can manage. So I had already clocked in and I asked the manager who was working the day to just clock me back out. Like, sir, I want to just go home because I'm tired. And you know, he's my man. You know what I mean? So he was just like, yeah, sure, go home. So he clocked me out. However, when Mans was sending the timesheets in or whatever, he was not paying attention. So he just sent it in as if I worked because he scheduled me to work. And I'm just like, so what if the company pays me for four or five hours that I didn't actually work? For the amount of work that I put in, I feel like I've earned that. <laughs> so he was just like, nah, stay and work that off. And I'm just like, okay, very aggressive, but okay, I guess I will stay. Did not have to shout. <laughs> so um, that was, that was not cute. 
because I really wanted to go home, but I felt myself, you know, tapping out and I was planning to call out tomorrow. Let this couch come in the morning. No, I'm not gonna do that because one of the girls quit. I'm telling you, it's pure ghetto stuff happening at that second job. The girl, she smokes so bad. Chalice, okay? Is that what the pipe is called? If that's not what it's called, don't judge me, I don't smoke. So um, I heard that some customer has been complaining that she reeks of marijuana, which she does because we have smelled her before. And so the manager, I think, maybe pulled her one side and he was just like, yeah, um, you know, do what you do to your life or whatever. But when you're coming to work, like, mm, don't smoke. You know what I mean? I feel like th the manager was a little aggressive too. He's my guy, but sometimes he really comes off a little strong. I heard that he told her to, <laughs> let me do a drug test on you right now. Like, sorry, you're dragging it. You know that the girl smokes. Just tell her, you know, maybe don't smoke when you're when you're coming to work because it just, you know, it doesn't smell good when other people have to experience that. And then she puts her bag inside of like the lunchroom with everybody else's stuff. And like, that's a very unpleasant experience for me, particularly. Because I don't smoke and I don't judge people, but I'm not gonna put my bag there for my bag to smell, my, my stuff to smell like weed. And then, I, cause I don't smoke, you know? And it was just a shit show. Oh, long story short, honestly, it was just a, they were just butt cheeks, okay. And they said sis just clocked out and was just like, I'm not doing this shit. So she went home. So chances are I definitely can't call out tomorrow because sis decided to leave the job. Who leaves a job in a global panoramic? I don't understand what is going on. Anyways, guys, don't be that guy. If you need a job, keep your job. Be professional. If you have to smoke, just do it a little bit earlier than the time that you have to come to work. And then shower after so you don't smell like ganja so bad. Because that's not really professional. It just isn't. Anyways, I'm going to wrap up this vlog here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, this is... One is for $16. One. This is so cute though. I gotta get it. Wow, no, this one is beautiful. Why are these things gonna be so expensive? I need it. Let me look at the reviews because we're not gonna charge me $16 for this and it not slap. Gonna need it to slap. Okay, guys. <laughs> I will go. Oh, this is very beautiful. I'm getting it. $16. My aesthetic is really costing me two arms and two legs, $32.